Okay, so I thought I would do a quick video to show how to program the bootloader uh, when everything's set up and uh, just so you guys see uh, what's supposed to happen. So here we are in the bootloader directory. So we're going to do make. It's a very quick compile. You see we have sfxd bootloader down there. And now we are going to do make program serial. So when we hit that, see the lights uh, on the programmer and on the Arduino start blinking. And what you see on AVR Dude is it is uh, writing the flash and updating there. Once it's done writing, it'll uh, read it back to verify that it was actually written correctly. So that'll take about two minutes all in all. We have to wait here for a while. You can see the programmer is hooked up with this uh, six connector wire that I made here. Um, these three here on the right are the uh, power ground and reset wires and the three over there are the serial um, connectors. Then they go down to this uh, header on the programmer. I made this wire myself from uh, these like crimp headers that I have. going it's almost done writing the fresh writing the flash there okay that's done now it's reading it back to verify like I said I made this wire um, with the crimp headers that I have and it's just easier if you're gonna do this a bunch of times uh, it's easier to know that, that these uh, connectors go there and um, get it right if you don't have those wires, what I used to do was just to hook it up with these like female uh, header hookup wire um, that you can plug into the connector on the programmer and plug into the headers on the Arduino. It's a little bit more uh, complicated because you have to actually um, remember which pins go where. Okay, so now it's uh, almost done. So when, when it's done here, we should see the bootloader start to run on the Arduino. And there we go. And now you see this double blink on the Arduino means the bootloader is running. And uh, since there's no other code on the Arduino now, the bootloader runs um, and then it just runs through the empty memory, gets back to the bootloader and runs it again. Normally when you have a piece of code on the Arduino, when it boots, or when you reset it, it'll um, blink the LEDs twice like that, wait for something like two seconds, and then it'll run the code that's on the Arduino uh, if it doesn't uh, get any uh, commands over the serial line that show that you're trying to, uh, trying to upload new data to it. So that's how um, programming the bootloader works. And uh, once you get to this point, uh, the hardest part is over. So now we just need to set up the XPs and uh, verify that we can send uh, programs up to it. So more on that.